because we have already learned a lot about Jesus, right? Yeah. yeah. We learned that he was the son of God, right? Yeah. Okay. We learned that he raised himself from the dead. Why? Because he 100%. Good job. My junior detectives have been paying attention. Good job. He's 100% God and he's 100% man. We also know that he had to die to make us right with God. By how? How did he die? He died on a cross to take all of our sins away. We also learn that he is now in heaven with God, right? Yeah. Yeah, but what are we supposed to do next? Should we go find out what everybody else is doing next? Yeah! yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah. 
But then check, he says this, he says, but blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. So he was like, how much better is it going to be for everyone who can't even see me, who can't even touch me, and yet still believe? How awesome is that? Huh? That's crazy. But I know, dude, right? How do we get there? I, just, I don't know what to do. It's so you're wondering, like, well, well, how do I believe in someone I can't even see, right? Yeah. Okay, well, that's the great thing, okay? Because he hasn't just left us hanging. You know all those stories that you've been learning all week long? You know all those stories yeah. you've been learning about? All about Jesus? Those are the stories from the Bible. He's given us his very word. The Bible is God's word that tells us who Jesus is, that tells us what he did, that he died on the cross for our sins, and that he rose again, and that he will save you if you will believe and trust your life to him. So that's how we believe. We read the Bible, we understand what he did, and we trust in him to save us from our sins. Okay, so what do we do right now? Like, I really want to believe. You know what? Send a KK car. We can start by praying. Why don't you bow your head? Okay. <coughs> Dear God, thank you so much for this week. Thank you so much that you have given us this week to come here <coughs> to read your word and to learn about you from the Bible. God, we have learned that everyone has sinned and has fallen short of your glory. Everyone has disobeyed you. And we also learned that the wages of that sin is death. We are all going to die. But God, you demonstrated your lo love for us in that while we were in sin, while we were sinners, you died for us. God, if we confess with our mouth and believe in our heart, if confess with our mouth that you are Lord and believe in our hearts that you, God raised you from the dead, we will be saved. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So we ask, God, please, we are sinners, please save us from our sin and make us a new creation today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Well, how do you feel, Penelope? I feel like a new creation. Oh, yeah. This is Everybody should 
who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Whether you're rich or poor or really, really smart or you really struggle with stuff at school, everyone, no matter where you're from or what you have done, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And you know, that is the greatest news I have ever heard. And I've heard a song being sung this week that just reminds me how amazing that is. And it goes something like, Thank you. 